Dear citizens of the world, I'm Padmini Arhant, author and presenter, PadminiArhant.com, Prakriti.PadminiArhant.com. I welcome you all to the topic on COVID-19 management. I share my thoughts on COVID-19 management. Beginning with United States, given the surge on affected cases, Nationwide, including U.S. territories, President Donald Trump administration and Congress bipartisanship latest actions are welcome and hopefully alleviate the economic woes confronting millions of Americans in workforce and others facing dire financial situation in the wake of COVID-19 preventable pandemic. The White House, along with Defense Department, coming forward with diverse strategies to ease the overwhelming burden on the healthcare system in combating the virus is a positive step that could save lives and contain the virus. President Donald Trump, having invoked the Defense Production Act with congressional approval, Reminiscent of the Korean War, the crucial medical supplies protecting healthcare workers in the front line of this pandemic is paramount, enabling private companies in the United States to manufacture and supply them for immediate use that could significantly boost medical care and treatment while reducing casualties from the virus. United States Congress members in the House and Senate coordination in passing the emergency care package for COVID-19 victims and families, as well as Americans at individual to small business ownership already feeling the pain from necessary confinement at home to overcome the health crisis is a meaningful response in the hour of great economic distress. Needless to say, healthcare workers in the United States and worldwide working round the clock together with volunteers deserve immense appreciation and acknowledgement for their dedication to help COVID-19 patients recovery. Similarly, the medical research on vaccine and effective drugs to address the rapidly spreading virus is a tremendous engagement that could break the cycle and provide much required medical intervention now and in the future. In other parts of the world, the government's initiatives in protecting the population through travel restrictions, closing borders, schools, colleges, and cancellation of public events is the appropriate measure to prevent the virus contagion effect. However, there are some reports, like in India, the most densely populated northern state Uttar Pradesh, BJP government plans to organize major religious festive activity in the coming weeks, that is early April, amid COVID-19 outbreak that has affected India as well, regardless of the figure being higher or lower, is irresponsible and disappointing, as any form of close public contacts and gathering proved to exacerbate the current challenge. Accordingly, the political leaderships and heads of the states from local to national level, understanding the consequences of such mass participation adversely affecting large segments leading to community infection is important and prohibit activities expected to aggravate and protract the pandemic. As for citizens worldwide dealing with this global pandemic, 
strict adherence to health safety features on limiting social meetings, personal hygiene, such as washing hands with soap and sanitizers to safeguard personal health and well-being that would in return de-escalate the viral transmission is critical in the battle against the pandemic. Individual efforts by following health experts' advice and recommendations in minimizing the spread of the disease is the clarion call on stymieing the virus. The grim reality is the economic downturn in the face of shutdown for middle and lower income groups in any country, not barring the developed nation like United States, despite the government stimulus package again only organized in fewer countries and that too not guaranteed to adequately cope with the economic constraints confronting the world. Poorest of the poor and others up to the middle class do not have the luxury like the rich and super wealthy in any society to live on their accumulated wealth and extraordinary assets until the crisis is laid to rest. The employers and businesses arguably cannot afford to retain employees indefinitely in the absence of productivity, sales and consumption normally fueling the economy. Obviously, collective responsibility in all frontiers, especially enhancing medical supplies and respiratory equipment like ventilators and virus testing kits, etc., is the priority in health aspects. Besides prudent economic planning and financial restructure, facilitating liquidity and solvency of different industries with a major focus on workers in the service industry like restaurants, retailers, transportation and, and an array of economic complexity instrumental in running the economic engine is absolutely vital to overcome the current catastrophe. Whenever calamity hits the shores, the nation's ability and capacity is tested, reflecting on the utilization of resources at disposal or the lack thereof, revealing the path to pursue in mitigating disaster such as the prevalent deadly virus. The poignant lesson from COVID-19 proliferation is the world unprepared to tackle cataclysmic events in epic proportion due to tunnel vision exclusively on nuclear armament, cyber attacks, and terrorism attracting disproportionate allocation of national budget, discarding the essential investment in health hazards management and relevantly preparedness to rise to the occasion upon being subject to a viral tsunami such as the potent COVID-19. Universal solidarity emanating from individual perseverance in every citizen in every part of the world in preventable course practicing stringent methods in compliance with public health safety instructions and government's prompt decisive actions towards help and economic assistance to all citizens transcending statehood and nationality is fundamental to expedite patients' recovery and reigning on the life-consuming virus. Once again, since this crisis is pervasive with the virus not being selective in choosing hosts, the health and economic toll definitely impact all. As a result, it is the duty of every adult citizen to be responsible and guide the younger as well as aid the elderly in the family and community 
to do everything possible in defeating the global pandemic without losing more lives and further economic decline. Above all, government transparency in data on virus victims, deaths and possible suspects not excluding asymptomatic carriers are imperative to evaluate the actual threat in a particular territory, region and the world at large. Finally, the authorities in Beijing responsible for the lapses in the initial outbreak of the disease in Wuhan, Hubei province, China, respecting their local medical experts' honest professional opinion in the matter to sustain containment of the highly infectious virus and extending all facilities that is monetary and logistic is an obligation to domestic and global population. Let us all come together, setting aside partisanship, preferences and prejudice with the main goal of saving lives and prevailing in the enormous health and economic troubles causing legitimate concerns and grief worldwide. I am Padmini Arhant, author and presenter, PadminiArhant.com, Prakriti.PadminiArhant.com. I appreciate your attention and interest. Thank you.